In the first couple of videos in our IoT series, we mentioned the IoT gateway as one of the key elements in the IoT ecosystem. In this video, we would like to return to this topic and ask the following question. What is an IoT gateway? The primary purpose of a gateway is to provide a bridge between different types of communication technologies, which often differ in terms of connectivity types, interfaces or protocols. One example to illustrate this is the Internet Gateway most of us have at home. Usually located inside a router or a modem, this sets up a wide area network connection to connect your home, a local area network, with your internet provider. Looking closer at this, we can identify the high-level data link control, HDLC, or point-to-point -point protocol, PPP, used on the one side, and the TCP internet protocol on the other. If you are an SAP customer, you might be familiar with the SAP Gateway. This can connect the Open Data Protocol, OData, with remote function calls, RFCs. As such, this gateway enables SAP UI 5 based applications, for example, to connect with SAP business systems in the backend. The IoT gateway is another example, following the same primary purpose of connecting different communication technologies. The IoT gateway builds the bridge between sensors and actors on the one hand and the internet or an intranet on the other. Examples of communication technologies used by sensors and actors are Bluetooth LE, SIGBI and Z-Wave. The other side of the communication in IoT gateways is local or wide area networks. So far, we have only talked about the communication bridging, which by the way also helps sensors and actors, which are too small or minimalistic to be connected through IoT gateways with remote IT components. However, an IoT gateway comprises a lot of other important capabilities that are relevant for us. Given how huge the volume of data provided by sensors can be, one important capability is to filter out data that is not necessary and thus to reduce the amount of data that is forwarded to the backend. Another aspect that can be provided by the IoT gateway is security implementation. Software-driven capabilities like these are part of what is known as edge computing. You might now be wondering where an IoT gateway is typically deployed or whether it can also include sensors and actors. This leads us to the next topic, which will be covered in one of our upcoming videos, where we plan to talk about IoT deployment patterns and the role of edge software. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know and leave a comment. If you want to see more of our videos, go to sap.com slash ea explorer.